two, one, zero. Hello and welcome to the book blog. My name is Peter Hogenkamp and I started the book blog because I want to talk about books, books that you probably have never heard of before, books that you may not have read before and that you really should uh, be reading because they're great books. We're going to start off with five books that I just picked off my bookshelf this morning. Book number one, let's get it in here, Steve Berry, The Alexandria Link. Steve's written a lot of books. Um, they're very good. Steve writes what I call international thrillers. Um, they're fast-paced. They're well-written. The setting is excellent. He does great research. Um, you're going to like Steve Berry's uh, <clears throat> Cotton Malone series quite a bit. He also has written some standalones, which I liked. Again, Steve Berry, The Alexandria Link. Book number two. Mount Dragon by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. Interestingly enough, this is a team approach. Uh, these two guys both uh, write books by themselves, but they have written a number of books together, and they're excellent. One of the great strengths of this team is that they do great research. Uh, they have excellent information on science, um, technology, religion, culture. You can't read this book and not learn a lot. The great thing about it is, you're reading it in the setting of a fast-paced thriller as opposed to a textbook. These guys are great. Uh, they turn the phrase very nicely. Give them a chance. Right again, Douglas Preston, Lincoln Child. This one happens to be Mount Dragon. Next one right here, Daniel Silva. This is Daniel Silva's uh, first book in the Gabriel Alon series. It's called uh, The Kill Artist. It's a fantastic book. Um, true story, I once took this book on vacation with me. And it was just a little romantic vacation with my wife and I. And after a couple of days, I couldn't find the book. And I learned that my wife had thrown it out the 10th, door, <clears throat> 10th floor window of our condo because all I had done for the first two days is look into this book. It's that good. Daniel does everything well. He has great prose. He writes fantastic characters. And I think that the best characters in, in modern thrillerdom. Um, <clears throat> the pacing is excellent. He's got great dialogue. He throws humor in. Daniel Silva. And note the book, too, The Kill Artist. Start with The Kill Artist. Outstanding. Next book here, Saving Laura by Jim Satterfield. Jim uh, is a great author. One of the things I liked about this book is I happen to love the Rockies. This book is set in the Rockies. When you are reading this book, you are not in your living room. You are not in a subway. You are in the Rockies. He does such a brilliant job of describing the setting and doing it in a way without overwriting or a lot of adjectives, adverbs, just excellent, excellent writing. Not only that, um, it's got a great plot and the characters. The characters are very real. You or I could be in this book. Um, and when I say that, I mean that with great, um, uh, great praise for him. The characters are genuine. They're real people. And at the same time, they're people you want to read about. I mean, my neighbor is real and genuine, and he's a great guy. I don't want to read about him, though. That's not true of the character in this book, and that's a difficult thing to do. Again, Saving Laura by Jim Satterfield. Give it a shot. Lastly, let me pull out of my little uh, book of uh, stack of books, is The Cairo Affair by Olin Steinhauer. Olin is a great writer. Very, very good. This one happens to be a standalone book. He's also written a number of series. Uh, I would recommend all of them. The thing that stands out about Olin's writing is, you know, when you read the old uh, or watch the old James Bond movies or read the old James Bond books, you know, there was the good guy and the bad guy. And I think that's passe in this world where, you know, who knows who's good and, and who's bad. Olin seems to understand that. His books are generally written about CIA characters who are flawed. Um, they're very gray as opposed to black and white. Um, and at the same time, despite the fact that he's got this down very realistically, I, I think they're empathetic characters that you can root for and like. Um, his writing is excellent. He's got great dialogue. Um, he does a beautiful job of immersing you in the story. Give Olin Steinhauer a try. Uh, this one is The Cairo Affair. All right. Thanks again. Um, I want to end here because I'm trying to keep these less than five minutes so that I don't, um, uh, you know, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. So we'll be on next week with five more books. Please um, uh, tune in to the book vlog whenever you can and give these five authors a shot. You'll be glad you did. Thanks again. Two, one.